So this is section 3.2, and we're going to talk about correlation. So relation is in like the way things are related to each other, and then co, um, how our relation and co, like how things are related to each other. So this graph, um, this is this is measuring someone's height versus their arm span. So if I had someone standing there, um, like their height. I'm sure you understand uh, their height is this measure right here, how tall they are, and their arm span is how far from fingertip to fingertip. And so you can see on this that there's a, there seems to be a trend here, like as the height increases, the arm span increases, which you would expect to happen. You would expect that uh, that, that would be the case. So if I talk about one way that these are these two variables are correlated to each other, is they both seem to be going the same direction. Um, if I look on here, if I if I were to kind of average them out with a line in here, it's going upwards. So if that ever happens, I can describe this correlation as positive. It's a positive relationship. They're both going the same direction as the height increases, the arming span increases. I could have another um, graph too. Like let's say I did like uh, days absent to to your grade point average, and I gathered a bunch of data on people on it. And it seems to be, that seems to be trending downwards, right? As the number of days that you miss increases, your GPA goes down. Seems to be going downward trend. So if that's the case, we call that a negative correlation. And there's one other case. It could be like, let's say I averaged, um, I don't know, the the number, of um, birds that I see in a day and the, the number of, I count the number of birds I see in the day and then I count the number of dogs I see in a day and I get some, you know, data that looks like this, where sometimes I see a lot of birds, not a lot of dogs. They don't seem to be related to each other. It's not going up or down. So if it ever kind of scatters like that and it doesn't seem to be going up or down, I can say there's, there's no relation between those. So I should be able to look at a graph and say if it seems to have a positive trend, a negative trend, or no trend in it. Pretty straightforward. So I'm going to add one thing to this now. And that is this. So here is that graph that we were just looking at. And what I've done is I've made a little trend line in it. So notice this trend line is, is it's kind of the average of where the points are at. So it's making some predictions. And you can tell at 70 when the height, remember that was height and that was arm span. When the height is 70, the arm span is 70, the model is exactly right right there. So the model's spot on there. But if I go out a little bit, like if I go out here to about this height of 74, notice the model's a bit off. It was a bit, little bit high. Or if I look back to here to about 68 or whatever this is, the model was a little bit low. That difference between um, what the model says should happen and what actually happened is called the residual. And all the re residual does is it tells you how far off the model was from the end. So to find the residual, you go, what was observed or what actually happened? Observed. And you subtract what was predicted or what the model says should happen. So like in this one, um, at 74, the height was actually 71. That's what was observed. But the model said it should have been about 74. Observed minus predicted. 71 minus 74 is negative 3. Notice that just tells you how far off the model was. It was off by, it, the, the actual was 3 below it. If I find the residual for this one at about 68, the model says it should have been at 69. That was what was predicted. But it looks like it was actually at 70. What actually happened minus what was predicted, positive 1, the residual will be positive 1. Um, Another example of a residual might be something like uh, like this right here. The model tells you that um, sorry, the model tells you that it should have been 30, whatever it is we're keeping track of. But the actual thing was a 20. Let's say this was like uh, I don't know someone's score on a test or something. Um, according to all the data, it should have been a 30, but they actually got a 20 on. So if I think about the residual of this, remember the residual is what actually happened. 
what's observed minus what was predicted. In other words, how far off was I? So what was actually happened was a 20, but they, it was predicted that that person would earn a 30. 20 minus 30 is negative 10. The residual is negative 10. Like it, it said that it was going to be here, but the first one is actually here. It was off by that much. All right, so on the assignment, um, you know, just go ahead back into WAMAP and, and take a peek at it. I'm going to ask you to do two things. I'm going to ask you to look at graphs and determine if it's uh, positive, negative, or no, or you could say zero, uh, relation. I'm also going to ask you to find residuals just by doing this, uh, this subtracting, observed minus predictive. Give those a try. Message me if you have any questions, and good luck.